and welcome to my plus size grandma with Miss Coco Bell. And I'm sitting out here enjoying the fresh sunshine of the day. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, I've had a great weekend. It's been full of singing and praising the Lord and, you know, just having a great time fellowshipping with people. Um... But today I'm at home, which I didn't really have to be home, but a sister's feeling herself a little tired, so I decided that today is the day that I'm just going to stay home, stay home rather than try to go out and and push myself to um, push myself and then end up sick. But what I'm talking about today is these um fake chubby chasers <laughs> they listen y'all i'm telling you plus i was dating um the game should be more open by now you know you would think that more guys have came up to time now and would rather spend their life with someone they're happy with that's plus size than somebody that you know the ideal of what society's version of what type of woman you should date a smaller woman or a medium-sized woman whatever and you not be happy i mean i just don't get it why why in the world would you want to go and mess up your thing with a a, a plus-size woman that you know you really got feelings for and you really like and end up with somebody that you know you're just gonna basically use i mean that's crazy but anyway, that's reality. That's reality for some women out here like myself. Um, I can meet guys and we hit it off really good and see each other again and again and again. But they never choose me to be that one, you know. They never choose me to be that one. And I started thinking, you know, so many guys have low self-esteem. They have low self-esteem and they think that um, because of who they have associated with, how they grew up and stuff, that being with a plus-size woman is bad. But it's not. It's not a bad thing. She's a person. I'm a person. We're human. We just got a little more skin than others. We got a little more weight than others, but we are still human beings. We are still sexy in our own way. We still can do this, if not more than the. <laughs> Start telling my life. Woo, jeez. <laughs> I gotta be careful on that. But if not, we can do more than average size women. I mean, it just depends on if you're with someone who you're really comfortable with, then you can do a lot. I mean, I don't get it. But it's, it's sad whenever I get inboxes from a lot of women who are plus size and they're going through so many issues with guys not wanting to see them in the light, always meeting at dark or either guys really using them for their money and stuff, you know, and ne never taking them anywhere. Moral of the story is a lot of women have low self-esteem and not only that it's not only this is what i want my plus size sisters to realize is that it's not just happening to you it's also happening to the smaller women too the smaller women are actually getting done if not worse because they got to live through it <laughs> at least we we get the back side of it but they get the front side of it and the front side of that is that their men is cheating on them with the big women, the big girls. And the big girls have so much low self-esteem till, you know, they actually allow it that way. They allow it to happen that way. And I'm just going to be real with you. I'm not finna do that. Um, When you realize that a man chooses to be with you in public uh, according to your size 
or how you talk, anything that you may be missing, then that may not be the man for you. I mean, point blank. That's probably not the man for you. See, because love comes in all sizes. And when you get with someone who truly loves you, they're not going to put you on the back burner for nothing. They're not going to um, humiliate you or take you through that hu humiliation of feeling like you're not good enough. Because they're going to make sure you understand. They're not going to kiss your butt. <laughs> They're not going to kiss your butt, but they're going to love you for who you are, just the way you are. And these, it's like, what I'm seeing now, um, I have been going on some of the online dating sites like Tagged, um, Cupid, the BBW sites, and all those BBW sites and, and most of the online sites. Is, is men that are really thirsty right now. They're really thirsty for women, but they're not willing to commit. They're not necessarily looking to commit. They're not looking for wifey material anymore. Listen, y'all, this is 2018 now. 2018. Um, some of them are not looking to commit. They're just looking for um, contrabands, people they can lay up with. For a minute and feel good and then off to the next. Um, that's what I'm seeing with a lot of the online dating as far as what I have experienced as a plus size woman. I'm getting a lot of lame conversation. Um, I guess I've kind of outgrew the hey what you doing thing. Um, that's kind of boring to me and it makes me not want to talk to the guy um, based on the fact is. He's just saying what you're doing. This one guy, I promise you, this one guy, he hit me up and, and the whole conversation was hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Hello. That was the whole conversation. So see, it's a lot of men out here that's not really looking for any, anything to gain except for that one night of pleasure or anytime they can get pleasured and... As women, you just got to be vigilant and sober-minded when choosing guys. I mean, look what happened to me. I mean, to me, I don't look that bad. I don't look that bad. And my body, yes, I'm plus size, but I'm one of them that, you know, I don't like to just go any kind of way, you know. So I like to kind of make sure I wear clothes that fit me accordingly. Unless I'm home like today and just got on my my um like pajamas and you know just a big old sweatshirt you know t-shirt to walk around the house in Whew, water's good unless i got that on or something like that other than that i'm pretty well kept um my nails sometimes aren't painted and <laughs> and it's not that I don't like my nails painted. It's just that I don't always feel, you know, when you go through like depression and anxiety, you don't always feel like doing those things. And then whenever you do do those things, you know, it's, it's like it's for a special occasion. So I'm just the average woman. I don't always paint my nails. I don't always wear makeup. I'm, I'm the type of woman that I love natural. And I was laying in the bed this morning. I was laying in there this morning and I was thinking, I was like, wow, I really need to um, perm my hair. That's what I was thinking. I, I was saying that I want to perm my hair and just, you know, get away from some of the, um, what the world? Ooh, no. I want to, ooh, excuse me. I wanted to perm my hair and just get away from some of the wig wearing. Just come out natural as who I am. I don't want a man to think that they're going to get Coco in a wig and makeup every time you see her. That's not going to happen. I know what women say. Yeah, do this, do that. But reality is 
that's not what really goes on. I mean, in some homes, that don't go on at all. So when it comes down to the makeup and the wig wearing and the nails, the fake nails and all that stuff, I'm not really into that kind of stuff. I'm just a regular round the way woman. Now, the pictures I post up are usually with me dressed up because I'm usually going somewhere to sing or, or, you know, some type of appointment or something. And yes, I do like to look nice when I go out, but I'm just saying that's not you. That's not no everyday thing for me. Everyday thing for me is a ponytail and a t-shirt. Did y'all hear me? Miss Coco loves her ponytails and her t-shirts. Um, if I wear makeup during the week, it may be a little eye makeup. And that's about it. Little lip gloss. But I'm not trying to sell anybody an image. You hear me? I'm not trying to sell anybody an image of me being like this woman who is like GQ 24-7. Because I'm not. I'm a woman with flaws. I embrace my flaws and all. I don't like that I don't do my nails all the time. But at the same time, I don't always feel like doing my nails. So when I get with a man, that man going to have to realize that I'm not going to always be looking, you know, cuted up and stuff like that. Because that's not who I am. Who I am is a country girl. You hear me? I am a country girl who loves to, I don't even love to play in makeup. <laughs> I don't love to play in makeup. I do sometimes. It's just dependent. I'm one of those people where it's, you know, it's whatever kind of day comes my way. You know, that's, that's the, that's pretty much what you're going to get is whatever comes my way for that day now for the most part I, I look pretty nice without makeup and stuff but that's who you'll get is is me like that you're not gonna get no supermodel or no sex video vixen or anything like that you're just gonna get a, a full-figured woman who just loves to do what she do and which a majority of the time when i'm not off working and stuff a majority of the time i'm just relaxing i'm cooking for my granddaughters for my children i'm taking care of business which is my family that's what i'm doing i'm taking care of business my family my children my grandchildren until i get a right one in my life and then you know you know i have to worry about that when that time comes how things will flow then so i ain't even i ain't even gonna say how that gonna be because i don't know it just depends on what type of guy I get with I'm so sick of of guys though I'm so sick of guys and I know this is not gonna end it or anything like that but I'm sick of guys thinking that the only time they need to get with a plus-size woman is when they want a little more cushion for the pushing we are worth more than that come on for real 2018 y'all still trying to push um plus-size women in the closets no it ain't it ain't even like that dog ain't nobody trying to have no experience like that um i think it's sad it's it's really sad when society has then put all these stereotypes out here on the blacks the whites the hispanics every race out here there's a stereotype put out there and nobody's really looking at that person or that person's heart and what's even more sadder is when you try to live up to what society is saying i'm not trying to live up to what society is saying i'm 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 more of a i'm not a pattern follower of this world for one thing i'm more of a christ follower and 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 by being that, I have my own mind of things. I have my own way of doing things. If I make a mistake, I'm going to make a mistake. And, and to God be the glory that I will learn my lessons from whatever mistakes that I make out here in this world. But I'm not going to be the type of woman that would just sit there and let somebody tell me, Oh, this is how you supposed to look. That's how you're supposed to dress. Oh, that don't look right right there. No, you're not going to.